Kathy here on the left. from Des Moines Free News. Just what was your reaction to the crowd's chants that were directed to you throughout the game? No, they are just talking. Uh, it's not really my job to react to them. So they did what I expected. Marcus, back right. Marcus Thompson, the athletic. Draymond, how do you, how do you feel you played? You like know, shit. What was the difference this game? Uh, I just think I never found a rhythm, um, really on both ends of the floor. So, uh, not enough force, but just got to find the rhythm quicker. Anthony on the right. The Athletic, uh, they had 15 offensive rebounds. Uh, you guys have protected the glass really well, you know, pretty much all playoffs. What do you think was the issue on the glass? Uh, yeah, I think that's just a force thing. Um, you know, then once you get comfortable, you establish that presence, then the ball just kind of finds you. You know, you get, you, you start to get the bounces and the breaks. So, uh, just got to start the game off better. Jake up front. Jake Fisher, Bleacher Report. Um, Draymond, I'm not saying it's why you struggled tonight by any means, but I found listening to your podcast recaps the last couple of games pretty interesting. Are you conscious at all of what you're saying about? The X's and O's, the game plans, the adjustments could be making their way back to Boston staffers and influencing their decision making at all. No, um, I don't say much different on the podcast than I say to you right here. So, nah. What's the X's and O's that I said on the podcast? You all right? Yeah, actually, asked, the only real thing I, I noticed that like really stood out was you talked about how to cover White, Smart, and Horford differently between games one and two. That was really only. Oh, yeah, that was just contesting shots. That, if that's X's and O's, then I don't. You're reaching for something. It's all good, though. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> reaching heavy. The only thing, you find that they are taking X's and O's away from your, your podcast. Uh, are, well, the only listening. thing you said is um, White, Smart, and Horford. Hmm. I'm not trying to blow it up. I, I, nah, I mean, you, you went for it, but yeah. hey, respect. Appreciate the podcast yeah. uh, promo you just gave you me, though. It, the Draymond Green Show. You Next time, just mention it that way. You got it. All right, bet. Monty in the middle here. Draymond, what most disappointed you about the way you guys played tonight and yourself? Uh, I was soft. That's what was most disappointing to me uh, for us. Monty, how much X's and O's you get from the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, this guy, hey, I don't know, man. Maybe that's the IQ level over this way. <laughs> Shit. Respect. Okay. You got something else, Monty? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Not just you, but would you, what was disappointing about the, the whole your team played, other than the third quarter? Uh, I thought um, <clears throat> we let them get to too, too many of their strengths. You know, uh, you know. We like to play by the term making them play left-handed, and I don't think we did that tonight. So, um, uh, Jake Fisher, just an FYI, that's a, that's like a reference to something, making somebody play left-hand. That's not really X's and O's, like literally make them drive left. But uh, we like to make teams play left-hand, and, and we didn't do that tonight, and, and that starts with me. And... Um, you know, when when you allow a team to get comfortable, especially in their home in front of their home crowd, then it's tough. And you know, we we battled back. We took the lead for a minute, but you know, if if it's a game and you go on that run, it's a different story. So um, we'll be better. I'll be better. Come out, win game four. Go back home two two. CJ on the left. Uh, CJ home, San, San Francisco Chronicle. Dre. You know you got to play better, right? Mm -hmm. But heading into game four, what are some adjustments that you know that you have to make personally? I think it's just my approach to the game. Um, you know, I, if I approach the game differently, everything else falls in play. There's no big X and O um, adjustment in the NBA Finals. You know what they do. They know what you do. Now who's going to go play with the more force and win the game? They did that tonight. We got to come out and do that on Friday. Kendra here on the left. Kendra Andrews, ESPN. I guess maybe it's not about X's and O's, but what went wrong when it came to the rebounding battle and then allowing uh, their points in the paint? Uh, well, I think when when you're 
putting constant pressure on the rim, then the rebound patterns are messed up. You're rotating, you're coming in. And so um goes back to our point of attack defense. And, I, you know, that starts with me. If we control the point of attack, it puts you in a better position overall on the court. And so, um, and then, like I said, you, you allow them to get a few, then you just start to get the bounces and, you know, things start to go your way. So, um, I think it's, an, it's not just a sp rebound specific. It's our defense as a whole. And when your defense as a whole is good, you know, then it, it makes it a lot easier to rebound. Matt, a second row. Draymond, do you em kind of embrace the opposing uh, fans looking at you as the villain in in a way that, that – do you feed off of it in a way that it, it takes some pressure maybe or some of that attention off some of your teammates? Is, is that something that – fuels you and, and can be something that you use yeah definitely I, I embrace it I enjoy it um I didn't really feed off of it tonight I don't think I fed off much tonight um but yeah you know that's that's something that I enjoy you know they, they waste a lot of energy talking to me so I, I it's great it's great um looking forward to Friday last couple of questions we'll go to Vince Vince Goodwill Yahoo's voice Draymond what worked in the third quarter that you guys couldn't sustain before and after it? And what was that exchange that you had with Courtney Kirkland after you filed out where you guys were basically, I don't know if it was a staring contract. Oh, no, or I just asked him, you know, he, he called a foul for me for diving on the floor. He said, I dove on somebody. This man gets his legs dove on. I just asked, you know, is that not the same thing? He told me it wasn't the same thing. So, yeah, that was that. That you guys couldn't sustain. Um, I thought we really got moving offensively. Uh, defensively, we were swarming. We were all over the place, and you know we took away what they were trying to do. Uh, why we didn't sustain it, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and watch the film and kind of see where we let go of the rope at. But you know, I'm sure there are some things we'll you know look back at it and take away from it and make sure we bring that to Friday's game. Last question, Ohm. Uh, Draymond Ohm, Young Musa, ESPN. What did you see on the pileup with, with Steph? And are you worried about Steph being injured? I mean, yeah, you're always worried. Um, but, I, yeah, I saw him getting dove on. And um, that was about that. So I picked up my file, pushing him off of him because he's screaming at the bottom of the pile. Um, so, I, yeah. It is what it is. I'll take the foul. I'm going to get him off his legs, though. So it's all good. Thanks, Draymond.